Hey everybody, welcome to Bend with Brie. Today we're going to start seated on our mat with day one of our yoga flexibility challenge for beginners. So you're going to start with rolling your head side to side with your hands on your knees. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now go ahead and hold on the left side. What you're gonna do is bring your hand above your head to your ear, and you're gonna stretch, pulling gently, and then look towards your breast, to the side, towards your chest, then roll it to the other side, and you're gonna bring your hand above your head to your ear, towards your breast. You're gonna pull gently to the side, towards your chest. Now you're gonna bring your hand to the mat on the right side and do a side stretch. So your hand can be further out for a deeper stretch or closer. So you're gonna bring your elbow in and out. So in, out, in, out, in, out, pull to the side. Now close yourself off and then open. Close towards the mat, 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 open. Now do some arm circles here. Hands still planted on the ground next to you, just circling your arm in one direction. Hold. Now circle your arm around to the other side. So side stretch on the left. You can bring your hand closer to you or further away. Now elbow in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Close off, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Circle your arm, big circles. Now you're going to bring your head in full circles and then bring your drop your hand to one side and do an arm circle. Full head circle, hand to the opposite side, arm circle. Head circle, opposite side, arm circle. Head circle, opposite side, arm circle. Head circle, switching cir the direction of your circle each time. Arm circle, head circle, arm circle. Back to center. Now swing your arms backward and forward. Each time you bring your arms forward, you're gonna switch which hand is on top. This is a really good warm up for the gym. Just swing in the arms. Now bring arm circles backwards, circling them around. Now go back into those back and forth. Again, switching which hand is on top each time you swing. Now arm circles in the opposite direction. So I'm bringing mine forward. Now you're going to cross your right hand, cross your chest, stretching out the side of your shoulder. You've probably seen this stretch before. Now bring your hand towards the center of your back in a tricep stretch. So I just showed it there. What you don't wanna do is arch your back. You wanna keep your core tight, even if that means your elbow is up really high. Now switch sides, opposite arm across your chest. Tricep stretch. Clasp your hands above your head, round arch round, arch. This can be a little movement or a big movement. Arch, round, arch, round, arch, round, arch, round, 
arch round now in the rounded position you're going to make some figure eights with your hands you can make these as big or small just getting into your shoulder blades hold on one side the other back to center shake it out a little bit do some shoulder circles backwards working into our shoulders then forward shoulder circles these always feel a little awkward to me i don't know about you Now you're gonna do one shoulder back at a time, a little dancey movement here. Try not to overthink it. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now just switch the direction. Left, right, bring it forward. Left, right, left, right. You can go side to side a little bit. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Shake out your hands getting into your wrists, shake them out, clasp your hands together and make circles in one direction. Switch directions of those circles. Now make some waves with your hands. I'm showing on screen here, just getting into your wrists some more, especially if you're someone who types a lot, works from home. Now flick your fingers and bring some circles in with your hands separate. Switch directions. Bring your hands to the mat with the, your fingers facing you. So this will get into your wrists and forearms. Then bring your fingers facing you, but your, uh, not your palm on the floor, the front side of your hand. Make your fingers face each other, away from each other. Now grab your strap. You're gonna bring it behind you. You're gonna bring your hands as wide as you need to feel comfortable, because you're gonna lift and lower your arms. So lift, lower, lift, lower. This simulates a clasp. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. The strap is a fantastic tool to increase flexibility. So if you don't have one, you can use a belt or a towel, but I highly recommend you get one. You can put your strap to the side for now. Roll over your knees onto all fours. Arch your back and round, arch. This is called cat cow. Round, arch, round, arch, round, arch, round. Now you're going to arch and just rock forward and back here. Forward back now round forward back this feels really really nice to me now bring your right arm forward and you're going to lift it up and make circles with the hand then switch directions now bring your hand to your head and you're going to bring your elbow to the floor and lift elbow to the floor lift Elbow, lift, elbow, lift, elbow, lift, elbow, lift, elbow. Hold with your elbow on the floor. Gentle twist here, you got it. Perfect, now switch sides, lift your opposite arm up, do some circles with the hand. Switch directions. Into your head, elbow, lift, 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 elbow, hold. Lift, drop your hand. Come into a down dog. You're gonna keep your heels elevated and your knees bent here. You wanna have a flat back. So bend your knees and lift your heels as much as you need to have a flat back. You're just gonna bend your elbow slightly and then lift, like a little push up. Bend, lift, bend, lift, bend, lift. Now you're gonna decompress 
your shoulders and then drop. So lift just your shoulder blades, drop. Just your shoulder blades, drop. Bend your elbows, bend your elbows, bend your elbows, bend, bend, and shoulders. Just the shoulder blades. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Hold and breathe. Inhale, exhale. You can bend your one knee than the other. Then just step forward into seated. Give yourself a little hug here before you roll all the way down on the mat. Knees to chest, rock back and forth, adjust, get comfortable. Now drop your knees to one side. You would bring your hands together in front of you and then just make circles with that top arm. Bringing it around. Just circling that top arm all the way around. You can lift it higher if this is too much. Then drop your hand as much as possible into a gentle twist, looking over at the opposite hand. And then bring the circle in the opposite direction. Again, the closer to the floor you are, the more intense this is going to feel. So if you need to back off of the intensity, you'll lift your arm a little higher. Then drop into that twist. Knees to chest. Wiggle it out. And then drop your knees to the other side. Hands in front of you. And make those circles. Circling it around. Drop into that twist. Then circle in the opposite direction. I have foil on my chair because my dog, he likes to pee on fabrics, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. Knees to chest. Now drop your legs into a Shavasana. Take some deep breaths. You did fantastic on day one of this beginner's challenge. I can't wait to see you tomorrow for lower body flexibility. And I will see you there. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I brought my hands to my belly and just take some deep breaths here to finish out. Thank you, guys.